Recovering from narcissistic abuse intent to infect you with hatred. One of the most hurtful wounds in life that an adult can endure is when you have a relationship or marry a narcissistic Jezebelic spouse and love them in a very kind and caring way, but then the abusive narcissistic spouse abuses you horribly, controls you, manipulates, yells, intimidates, humiliates, throws objects at you, threatens you, and then they have the audacity to go to all your mutual friends, family, and church people and tell them lies about you to make them hate you and have nothing to do with you, often accusing you of doing exactly what they did to you. They are masters of lying. It is extremely difficult to recover from this type of attack because when you've endured some of the most traumatic, painful, emotional abuse or worse from someone, and then they lie better than you can tell the truth, and you lose close relationships with many people, then you often develop an intense hatred and anger inside of your heart for your abuser and want to take revenge upon them. Unfortunately, that allows demonic spirits to torment you in your mind and body due to unforgiveness taking root. That is the goal of the narcissist, so that demons will torment your mind and body even after they're long gone from you, so that you never heal from their damage and abuse. In Matthew 18, 21 to 35, Jesus talks about the need to forgive everyone from your heart for anything that they did to hurt you. Doesn't mean that you reconcile with an abuser, for that would not make any sense unless they got delivered and changed over time. Uh, but it means that you give the abuser and your anger for them to God to deal with. When we don't forgive those who hurt us from our hearts, then we are the ones who will be tormented by demons, as Jesus talked about. When we forgive all for their sins against us, then God will forgive us for our sins against others. And then that removes the rights that demons have to torment us due to unforgiveness. When we can understand that every abuser was also hurt and abused when they were growing up and never could forgive those who hurt them, so the demons tormented them, then we can more easily forgive them from our hearts for all their abuse. Romans 12, 19 says, Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but neither give place to wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. So I have a book called Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons. It's available on Amazon and paperback, Kindle and Audible, helping thousands of people to be able to forgive, to get healed, to get delivered, so that they don't get tormented in their minds and in their bodies. And uh, they're able to heal completely, and then they can actually have peace in their lives. I also take people through personal sessions of healing and deliverance. Uh, I do hundreds of those every year with people around the world. If you're interested, and having me take you through one of those sessions, go out to the website, restored2tofreedom.com. Click on Contact Me and submit the form, or you can call 317-459-7091. Thanks.